my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to create a holographic image. And the workflow I'm going to show you pretty much translates to any program with compositing abilities, but I'm going to use After Effects. So what we basically want to do is we want to take an image of someone or something, make it kind of blue, and then put it onto a background. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Here I am inside of After Effects, and this image here is my background. So I'm going to drag it down to the Create New Composition button. And it's a pretty awesome picture I took. Uh, with uh, you know slow shutter speed so it streaks driving really fast this image down here is the image I'm actually going to use as the hologram so let's make that in its own composition as well and it's a kind of grotesque image I took with my webcam one day playing around with the uh, the warp filter but what we want to do why we brought this into its own composition instead of just putting it on top of the other image is I want to mask around it but I want to mask perfectly around it and the easiest way to do that bring it into its own composition, come up here to the mask button, and I've got the elliptical tool selected, and double click on it. And it automatically makes a, an elliptical mask perfectly around our image. So, it's pretty, pretty quick and easy, huh? We're just gonna come down to the mask properties and feather that mask out quite a bit so that it fades nicely into the background. But we're also going to drop the expansion. And the reason is we don't want any of those hard edges showing up in the final hologram. So let's come back to the the original image composition. We're just going to drag that new composition right on top of it. And we're going to scale it up. While I'm scaling, I'm also going to hold down the shift key so that it locks the proportions here. And I don't get any weird sizes. So we're getting pretty close. What we need to do next is with that layer selected, press T to access the opacity. And we're going to start dropping the opacity down a little bit. And that's a little too far, so let's bring it up. And that's looking pretty good. We can see through the image, but we can also you know, pretty clearly see what the image is supposed to be. The last step is to make it all blue. So I'm going to come up to the effect, color correction. We're going to go down to tint. And what we want to do is change this map white to. So let's click on that. And you see it's set all the way over to white. So we're going to drag this all the way into the red. And then on this slider, we're going to drag it up to the blue. Kind of like a little bit of green in there too give it a little more energy feel, and uh, that looks pretty good. But I'm also going to drag this tint amount down. And I want to get some of those normal tones in there too a little bit, make it a little bit more lifelike. So there you go, you can put this hologram anywhere that you want. You can put a little bit of cool distortions on it, make it look like it's being projected a little bit more, but that's the basic workflow on how to put a hologram onto a background. I'm just Ray.